hello welcome to this video which is a video presentation on how to use musical approach to tackle the issue of stuttering and for those who have bought the ebook this segment will really be very helpful for you at least to know how the musical terms apply to what we're saying and from anywhere you are watching you are highly welcome before i start let me say that stuttering what we call stammering is a very major issue in the lives of a lot of persons the truth is that everyone stutter at a point one point or the other especially when there's when there's tension or when there's apprehension or when there's serious fear that one is okay but there are some persons that they are having it as a major issue or challenge they cannot speak fluently when they are in a gathering they cannot read they are afraid to air their views and as a result they begin to seclude themselves from person and for such for such people it could really be a major issue or concern if they don't work to make sure that the, the issue you know of stuttering has been you know has been eliminated in their lives so i have decided to put this together to help persons because for me it has helped me and it has helped those that that have shown this too my name is joseph peter odokan i'm known as joseph and let me let me explain what you're seeing you may be seeing 7.0 musical approach where it's 6.0 and all that that is in is in the ebook that i've written is a 52 page ebook on tips on how to reduce stuttering so if, if you have gotten it this section is just to help you to understand this segment all right let me start i said in this chapter i will briefly define four musical concepts namely beat we can also see it as rhythm then number two is meter number three is note and number four is is tempo now let's look at how to apply a few of them because i'm doing this as um, i'm doing this as a bonus to those who have bought the uh, who have bought the ebook because there's a video segment of this of this ebook which is coming and um, so that persons who will want to have it can see what the explanation will look like i decided to do this now what is reading in music reading can be defined as a pulse you know pauses in music it is also seen as the duration applied for either a syllable in a word or a word in a sentence what what is a syllable we know it that it, that it is the smallest unit of a word for example if we have define d is a syllable then fine is another one so we can see it as a two one word that has two syllables okay define the, the another one is music it has two syllables okay so 
what we are saying is that is that rhythm can be defined as pauses in music all right the beats the beat types we we want to be looking at are number one one quarter number two half number three three quarter now we'll see how to use them later we have notes notes can be defined as voice speech or frequency eg do re mi va sol la ti do for some of you who know how to sing <laughs> but if you don't know how to sing it's not a challenge so note is the pitch there are some persons who want to say define or notes can be defined as voice pitch or frequency you can also say notes can be defined as voice pitch or frequency notes can be defined as voice speech or frequency so i've changed my voice notes to suit me so if you are a stammerer or once in a while you stutter you can decide to apply variation in your pitch applied to words in a sentence using the concept of do re mi va so la ti you can decide to work with la 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 notes can be defined notes can be defined or do re mi notes can be defined okay you can test with so many sound to see which is okay so that's the concept behind this this one notes now now using notes this has to do with the pitch use or frequency use on a syllable or word in a sentence of course i have explained that above i'll explain that above let's go on break down okay i said the next thing is break down long words into syllabuses and or syllables you know, and group them in twos you know, or threes or four to form a meter now in a music or let's say that a music has a pattern the pattern is called the meter it can be four on four it can be three on four it can it can be three on eight but if you are not a music person you may not understand what we're saying is that is that music is put in segments into four beats or into two beats or into three beats each segment is three beats and all that now meter can be defined you know as grouping of words in twos or threes or four it can also be seen as you know it has reducing a word to its basic is basic syllable to form a meter for example you will say singing is a two syllable word made up of sing and in singing singing so sing is one syllable and in is another syllable i enjoy singing is a three word sentence we can liken it to as the number of words in a sentence if i look at this i enjoy singing as a sentence we we'll look at the number of words the number of words there are three i one enjoy two singing is the third word so enjoy singing is a three word sentence so but if you look at the sentence as one i enjoy singing is a three word sentence okay maybe we should leave that one and go to another one we can explain it if it's longer i wanted to say if we take it as a word as one sentence then we can share it but i think we'll be seeing that later now another musical you know idea or term 
is called tempo. Tempo can be defined as fastness or the slowness of a song. I want to sing. I want to sing. You have, I have just succeeded in varying the fastness or the slowness. For example, if I say I enjoy singing, I enjoy singing. It's not the same. I enjoy singing. I enjoy singing. The last one is faster than the first one. So that is tempo. So there are a lot of persons who are stuttering and they are tempted to speak very fast. They could compound things for themselves. You can decide to take one word at a time. For example, I, just say I. Enjoy, you see it as a word. Singing, you see as a word. And as you're doing that, you are, you know, you're taking in some air. That you see in, I think, I think chapter two of it, because we have a lot of things in this, in this ebook. Now let's go on tempo. We are on it. Practice tempo variation from, from slow to fast and fast to slow as you speak a, as you speak, okay? You can just correct that as you speak. Now, see how you go. Repeat until you can consciously have, you know, have the control on it. If you want to speak slow or you want to speak fast. What I'm saying there is that you need to practice slow and you increase your speed until you are okay with the particular speed you want to take. It is now time to consider and apply the musical terms to see how helpful they are in reducing stuttering. We will start with rhythm. Now, I will, I will need to leave this one. This for those who will get the video segment of it. The video segment of this um let me go to let me leave reading let me go to i think i should explain it <laughs> i've already talked about tempo and i will i was only trying to explain it further let me touch on this reading briefly so that you may not really feel bad that i am about to skip it reading in music we have full beat we have half beat we have quarter beat and then we have three four now i would like you to picture sharing sharing anything you know or an, an object into four parts for instance think of sharing if you have a banana into four parts two parts or four parts or or yeah and uh, and if you share into four parts meaning you can take one part or you can take two parts or you can take one two three parts and you are leaving one four so for some of us who are good in maths half plus half is one and i was trying to say amaze is like you are doing it on the same beat level amaze amaze if you want to be fast, amaze. Or if you want to be slow, amaze. You're sharing it into two. Then, if you want to share amaze, which is one into one quarter and then three quarter, you see it as one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Amaze. Amaze. One, two, three, four. Amaze. So you hold the maze for the duration or oh, a maze if you want to hold it that way now you can also share a maze into you know three four and one four that's one two three four a uh, maze a uh, maze okay a uh, maze this case you are doing it by will it's not that you are stuttering but you are having a pattern to speak 
I hope you are learning something from it. So all this is for you to see various ways that amaze can be pronounced the way it suits you so that you can begin to form a pattern and the issue the issue of stuttering should be going down and down so you can also share one thing into one two three four that is let me use a sentence to explain this come and see me is a four word sentence come and see me so i can just say come and see me i'm seeing it as four and i said so you can apply words of any sentence you know syllables of a word accordingly using the bit types we are looking at one four you know the smallest bit or a pulse let me go further to explain this with something down because it might be confusing some persons let me get another sentence for example you can say come and see come and see but you can see it as the as having one four into four that is one four plus one four plus one four. so this dash is a space which can be seen as a silence you just is like doing one two three four come and see that place where you have the dash you just you just observe it in your mind just to have a pattern come and see okay i believe you should have it so looking at the sentence come and see as one bit we only you know added the dash to help us share it into one four for four times so this come can take one four space duration this space will take one four space duration and one four space duration and see one four space duration and you can speak then you can also do come and see you know it's not the same thing the first one was come and see this second one is come and see <laughs> they all mean the same thing but not the same style for this lesson okay um i believe when you get the when you get the ebook it is going to help you a lot um so that the video will not be too long those who will get the video who will get the ebook i might need to do another video that will explain this section completely to some point okay let me see what i can add before i close up this video I said thirdly let's see how to apply notes you know to speaking or reading I've already explained this this has to do with the sound the pitch okay and which I said do re mi va sol la ti do but don't mind this these are for those who are deep into music they know it they know what is do di re re and all that but the uh, this issue was explained to us earlier just to help us and uh, i believe it will be very helpful to those who are stuttering okay let me end with this um there are better ways of doing things if we consider alternatives i was trying to do an analysis of this there are better ways for of doing things seven if we consider the alternative so we have 11 word sentence i said analyzing the above sentence there are seven there are 11 words we can 
segment them now group them into 443 or 551 or 3332 etc depending on what you want we can apply we can apply any notes to them as long as the meaning of the sentence or or word is not lost now for example you can decide to do this as there are better ways now you have shared into four there are better ways of doing things if we consider alternative so you have shared into four four three or you can do five five one there are better ways of doing things if we consider then take the last one alternatives now there are better ways of that's five doing things if we consider that's five then the last one is alternatives you can also share this sentence into three 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 two there are better ways of doing things if we consider alternatives so you see these are just pattern to help form in your mind and it will be very helpful so as i end this video i want to thank you for watching it and i believe you have learned one or two things from it and um, for those of you who have not gotten uh, the ebook you should try and get it it will show a whole lot the last we have some truths about stuttering and um a lot of things in the first in the first six chapters which if you have gone through it it will be very helpful and when i do the next one which has to do with the video segment it will be done at a discount cost to those who have this first part of it so thank you so much for your time and um, i'll see you later